guitarcontrol.com. My name is Robert and today we are going to be learning the the master of riffs, Jimmy Page, and we are going to be working on the good times, bad times. Now we're not going to be covering uh, the one, the solo, that one little part, the that thing that he does there. Um, just because we actually did that in another video, go check it out. We have three classic Jimmy Page pentatonic licks, so that one is in there. So I won't be covering it in this video, but it is there if you want to kind of have that broken down and, and two other Jimmy Page licks. So other than that, if you want taps for this lesson, they're down below, and let's go ahead and get learning these riffs. Okay, so let's dive on into this video. So what we're doing here in the beginning is just, you know, a normal power chord. Uh, he's doing an E major uh, power chord, though, so he had kind of to roll your uh, ring finger a little bit here. We're going to be playing open low E string, 7th fret on the A, 7 on the D, G, and B. So it's, it's not quite a power chord, you got that major third in there, so you can do two of those. Okay, and you do it again. And it does that for a while in the beginning. Now you have this lick here. And with most licks, there's a couple of ways you can play it. This is just the way I liked it, because again, I like to use open strings if I can. Um, so that lick slow is this. Oh, sorry. So what's happening here, we just kind of move down to this D. You're going to do a D power chord, it's just 5 on the A string, 7 on the D, 7 on the G, 7 on the D, 7 on the G, 7 on the D. So. Then it's open D, 4th fret on the D. Then he goes 7, then he goes 3, I'm sorry, 4, 5, 6 on the A. So you have... Classic Jimmy Page, I mean, he always has a million tracks kind of going, but we're just going to do this. We're going to go... Now, you're probably wondering, why would we go to this one? Where's that one? If you listen to it, it kind of sounds like a slide is happening, so I'm just assuming he's going all the way up there versus just going... I guess you could do something like kind of... Down here if you wanted to, I've always just slid up the 10th fret. So I'm just doing a power chord on the 4th fret of the low E string, G sharp, A flat. Then you're going to be playing 6 on the A, and then 6 on the D. And you slide into 5 and 7, so we're sliding into an A5. You go from the A5 up to a D5, which is 10, 12, 12. So. Then you're going to go back down and go 5, slide into 7. So that just goes up to that it's, uh, A5 going into a B5. Favorite riff of the whole thing. It's such a cool transition. I mean, it's just, it's so Jimmy Page, you know? Jimmy's just the man. So we go down here to second fret of the lowest string. We're doing an F sharp five power chord. It's a mouthful. And it's just simply holding down second fret on the low E string and fourth fret on the A. Then you can do these little double stops. Basically, it's like, and we're just gonna be going 11 on the D and G, and then you go nine on D and G. So, so. Then you slide down, and you're gonna do four on the D and G, and then two on the D and G, and then back to four. So it's like I said, there's a little double stop. When you come out of that riff, you're going to go into uh, that B5 again, which is right here. Seven on the low E, nine on the D and G. I'm sorry, A and D. Then they move it up one step further to the C sharp, so they just move up two frets. And 
and it kind of ventures into that solo a little bit. So let's kind of cover how he enters that solo, that lick that's in there. Um, and then later you have that what lick we talked about. The descending one that you can grab in the other video. So he starts it out with just E minor pentatonic right here. So it's just 12 to 15 on the low E, 12 to 14 on the A, 12 to 14 on the D, 12 to 14 on the G, 12 to 15 on the B and high E. And the opening lick here, this is what we'll cover, is just putting that 14, and then it's 12 on the B and high E. Okay, thank you guys all so much for tuning in today. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now, if you'd like more lessons like this, then you should absolutely check out our Ultimate Song Collection. It has 150 songs all broken down for you. You can click on the screen and go check that out. Um, you got your tabs, chord charts, close-ups, strumming patterns, everything you can think of. 150 little songs you can kind of have underneath your fingertips in no time. If you're on your phone, don't worry. The second link in the description will get you there as well. You've got your iCard, annotations video stuff, all of it. So make sure you go check that out and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.